Good morning, students of Standard 12. This instruction is for those students who are skipping online classes. Students, it is important to watch videos of topics but attending online classes is also quite important students online classes of the concerned subject is the exact place where the interaction between the concerned teacher and the students takes place after the completion of the class. So students, please join the online classes also. Thank you students. Students, today we are going to discuss chapter 9 that is food production topic fisheries fisheries it is a branch of animal husbandry in which fishes are being cultured for food the process involved in obtaining fishes from the source is called as fishing. Students, fisheries is the branch of animal husbandry. In which Fishes are being cultured for food. This is also known as apiculture. Students, the process which is involved in obtaining the fishes from the source is called as fishing. Types of fishing. There are two types of fishing. Capture fishing. It is a process of obtaining fishes from natural resources like oceans, rivers. Students, capture fishing is the process of obtaining fishes 
from various sources like oceans rivers culture fishing it is the process of obtaining fishes by culturing it students here we can notice that it is the process in which the fishes are obtained but by culturing it that is by rearing it so it's a picture which you can notice here also depicts that the fishes are being cultured in the oceans by making a fence aquaculture it involves production of fishes prawn lobsters crabs along with culturing of traditional fishes like katla rohu students aquaculture actually involves the production of fishes prawn lobster crabs along with culturing of traditional fishes which are katla rohu so students in aquaculture we can notice that the traditional and non traditional types of fishes are being cultured in it where katla and rehu are the traditional fishes and the prawn and the lobsters crabs are the non traditional fishes that is non traditional aquatic organisms that is seafood composite fish farming it involves culturing of different types of fishes with different feeding habits students composite fish farming involves the culturing of fishes with different feeding habits so we can say that this fishes are different from each other that is different types students so, the concept of composite fish farming will become more clear with the help of the picture we can which you can see here students so, here the resources which are there present in the water source is being utilized by culturing three different 
varieties of fishes. Students, here the first variety is the variety of surface feeders. Surface feeders are those varieties of fishes which generally are found on the top layer of the water sources. and feed on the microorganisms which are present on the surface of the water sources. The example of surface feeder is cutla. Now the second variety of the fishes which are being cultured in the composite fish farming is the middle feeders. Students, this zone which you can see here is the zone which lies in between the surface and bottom. The fishes which generally remain present in the middle zone of the water source are called as middle feeders. One of the example of the middle feeders is Rohu. So students here the point to note is that the feeding habit of the surface feeders and the middle feeders are quite different from each other. And even the zone of their location. Friends, now the third variety of the fishes which generally is found at the bottom are called as bottom feeders. So students, bottom feeders are those fishes which generally remain present in the bottom zone and never enter in the middle zone and the upper zone. So students here we can notice that there are three different types of fishes with three different feeding habits where the example of the surface feeders is Katla, the example of the middle zone that is middle feeders is Rohu and the example of the bottom feeders is Mrigal and common carp. Friends, now let's discuss a very important question that is distinguish between aquaculture and composite fish culture. Answer Aquaculture is profitable because non traditional aquatic organisms like lobsters, crabs, prawn which is costly is being cultured along with traditional fishes in it. 
whereas composite fish culture is less profitable because of culturing traditional fishes like katla rehu so it friends becomes very clear that in the aquaculture the non traditional aquatic organisms that is lobster crabs prawns which even sells quite costly in the market is being cultured along with the traditional fishes in it also whereas the composite fish culture is less profitable because it cultures only the traditional fishes like katla and rehu aquaculture does not fully utilize resources of water source but composite fish culture can fully utilize the resources of water source so students aquaculture does not fully utilize that is is not able to utilize the resources which are present in the water source but composite fish culture can fully utilize the resources which are present in the water source thank you students